Hi, it's Steve again. Uh, we're on the M4 slip road near Reading and uh, we've got the lane blocked off uh, by Highways Agency. Uh, got a 26 tonner uh, River Moffat on the back, so it's fully loaded. Um, it's cut out of an ECU fault. The driver's just managed to get it off uh, the motor one to a slip road, a bit safer uh, for us to load. We're taking it to a local DAF dealer in Reading. Check, make sure this is all strapped down okay. Get another one, will it? So it's not going too far. So I thought I'd film this a little bit and show you uh, uh, how we work with the highways agency. Protect us a little bit. He's combed the lane off for us. So um, I'm just gonna get the PTO in and reverse underneath it and get it loaded and take it to DAFs. So here we go. creep back a little bit underneath it. It's a little bit of an angle the, the truck is just creep back a little bit to see how far we got. Yeah might be able to reach it a little bit there. Okay, right. Suspension down. There we go. go it's the officer down there right we're gonna get the boom down normal thing on a pre-lift again get onto some stands and get the front chain down half shaft out airline trailer board normal three things we do on every job so even though it's only going a few miles down the road we're not gonna uh take any chances the transmission is going to be um, disconnected and we'll be putting the aft shaft on the near side come back a little bit more but this is a beauty for a long reach and she lifts pretty well so you got no problems picking her up from here <coughs> yeah, we've got the handbrake on It's got a bit of weight on board, but there's the Moffit on the back, counteracting that on the back axle. Looks like super single wheels on the front. nice and safe safe as it can be on a slip road anyway but nicely coned off plenty of warning signs saves us rushing really you just get it loaded safely these little forks again which are tend to favour their dafts quite a nice tight fit there we go just going to go on this a little bit of the axle here before it goes thick there we go straight up in there there we go. So thick bits in the middle of the axle on there. 
Yeah, good lift this, this truck. So quite a bit of uh, under reach out. Straight up, no problem. Still plenty of weight on the front axle. Under here. There we go, we're going over the top of the axle, back around the jug handle. It's a little bit more tricky, I just have to go through between the spring and the shock absorber on there. Put it with the chains. There we go, so we put that back on itself. There we go, so it's pulling over and in from the side. Go. That's one side done. So the airline will be under the grill here, which is quite handy on the dafts. Quite easy trucks to pick up, really. So the half shaft will be on the near side, and I'll be putting a cover on there. There we go. That's front end chained out. So probably drop it down next and uh, get an airline in. Pull her in a bit so I won't be touching the near side anymore. I saw the off side. Oops. I'll be just working off the near side then once I uh, take the handbrake and that off. Right, what do we need next? Adapter for the airline. Should be on the near side, hopefully. There we are, lovely. Screw the test point into here. That'll keep the suspension up and the brakes off. Tuck that behind there. getting these in. Right, that's in there. Traffic's moving alright past us, not causing much of a problem here. Handbrake off slowly. I should just feel it point. That's it steering straight, the driver must have the keys, they're not in the cab. We'll have a look at the muffet at the back. Possibly, uh, just thinking might have to adjust the suspension at the back. We can get a bit more uh, high out the rear airbags. Bring that forward and that and have a look, see how she sits. Yeah, possibly the weight he's got on the back. We might be able to adjust that. Right, we're gonna need the half shaft cover out for the death.
to eventually bring her right in on here until it stops there we go that's booms right in we get the half shaft cover here half shaft and put the cover on let's have a look yeah we, we'll get a little bit more on the air suspension on that actually the suspension will lift up a little bit because it's got a bit of weight on the back end don't know ground it out okay right let's set that up in a minute let's get that half shaft out you see that be 24 mil bolts on these staffs so on these um, single drive axle the diff lock will be on the driver's side so we pull the near side out which is great for these roads so it's going the other side 24 mil a few bits and pieces It's all strapped on. Well, right. Don't always able to have assistance uh, when we uh, recover vehicles, but normally from live lanes on motorways, normally the traffic officers will attend, give us a bit more cover, especially on a live lane. Pin of oil in here, a little bit. Just want to put the covers on. I think it's at an angle as well, and it's nice and hot. It just runs lovely out there. Put three bolts in there. Yeah, that's will reseal half shaft before it goes back on the road. The job is just to remove the drive, but we'll possibly put it back from them. If they require it, it might very well start again if it's an ECU that's got a bit hot. It might very well start the other end because it's been parked up here a while. Right. That's a messy job. There's quite a lot of oil in there. You don't normally get as much as that normally. For these dabs. Put them in there out of the way. Right, yeah, I think I will we'll get a bit more air in that suspension. Yeah, we've got a humpback bridge to the contend with. So yeah, we'll lift it up a little bit. I'm sure there's a bit more room for it to go up. I need these gloves now. Probably will do actually for the half shaft. Get the dirty gloves on. That's basically the boom fully in on this. I think most of the weight's probably at the back end with the Moffat and that. Right, lasted a long time, didn't it? Don't need them no more. Right, okay. Let's see if we can uh, get a suspension out. I think that's the next port of call. Right, for that we need the ignition on. I'm putting air into the system, so we've got uh, uh, plenty of air for it to arise. Let's see if we can get her up a bit. We say we've got nasty old high bridge. Let's, let's just put it right up and we can drop it down again, give us a sink to play with then. Right, that's right all the way up. That's down, let's have a look, see what we're looking like. That's 
screw with a bit more to play with there that's fine it's not up all the way the suspension Nice clean truck this. Smells nice. Somebody looks after it. Right. Okay. As it's off. I'll put my trailer ball on next. Duck under here. Yeah. Nice straightforward load up. No problems. It makes a change to go out to a truck that's not fully sign rear. Now I struggled a little bit this week trying to find something to film that, that I can. So there's no markings or anything on that, so I had to cover the number plates. So we do keep everybody happy. Let's see if we can hang this. We got on here. We're a bit lower there. I think, think there's easy places to hang it. All right, let's bring this round here. Over the top. Yes, something there. Maybe at the base of the seat or something. Okay. Looking good to me. Here we go, that's a Moffitt little mobile crane that allows him to uh, unload his uh, goods at the destination, say so being forklift off. The thing's nicely strapped down here. Right, let's check the front. The airline in, half shaft out, all chained down. Right. Do a quick walk around, make sure things are right. Give you a view where we are. There we go. There we go, there's a little bit of a load on it. There we go. So, so we're on our way to DAFS now. Right, pulling off the slip road now on our way to Daff, so it's only a couple of miles up the road, so I thought I'd continue uh, filming. So we've got a couple of roundabouts and a humpback bridge to contend with. So they've got a traffic officer to me near side, he's leaving the cones out till we go. That's it, the row of cones he's got to collect up. change the camera angle a little bit so I can uh, see the bottom of the boom and where the wheels are located with the road. Yeah basically we're over, over this roundabout and uh, next slip road we've got to take off. It was only a couple of miles from the from the DAF dealer. Unfortunately, the ECU's overheated and uh, he did manage to get it started earlier. Off, he managed to get it off the motorway and uh, fortunately not into DAFs, just off the slip road. So, so it could have been a lot worse. Stuck on the live lane of the M4.
taking the slip road off here. So we got tight roundabout. We turn him right on over Humbrake Bridge and a tight left into the industrial state with Daf's arm. We'll have to find out where they uh, want it parked up. So I won't be pushing this in the workshop. bridge it's a bit deceiving actually this bridge if you look at it quickly you think it's uh, the weak bridge that you're about to go up but the bridge is actually uh, if you can see 700 yards further up the road so it don't affect us to get a few lorry drivers that get stuck um, on this bridge wondering if they can go over it or not but you can it's a bridge further up so we're gonna have to take a little bit easier here with that with the Moffat on the back imagine if the wheel will touch it will just rotate round don't want to put any any extra weight on there so it lifts out at all and we're going up there we are down the other side there we've got a tight left hand this to us left we've got a little tight left hand turning to death at Reading. Let's put some lights on here a little bit and hopefully uh no I was hopefully he might let us go. Maybe not. Okay. Let's head over to the right a bit. they've got the gates open for us all right i think we'll pull up on the left and uh find out where they would like it parked Go and see them and find out where they want us in. All right, there we go. We're at Daft's uh, HCC ready now. Just gonna find out where they want us. So, a Daft Tona Daft, you can't beat it, can you? There we go. Thanks very much for watching for now. Might do a little bit um, reversing, maybe, maybe if they want us to uh, put it in one of these holes. But anyway, thanks very much for watching for now. Till next time, thank you. Right, they're making room for us for a bit of a space. So the vehicle's gonna be worked on outside uh, by one of the DAF technicians. So he's asked us if we could uh, put it anywhere in, in between two bays. So we've got a bit more of a space to end for. So we're gonna head for that space on the right. In between there we go, that's not too bad. A bit more tricky if we had if we had to get it in one lane, but we can go in both lanes there. Take them both up, he said, so that'll do. It'll give me a bit more room to work on.
move it over a little bit, give him a bit more room. There we go. I may part it a bit too good in that other lane. <laughs> I was aiming for one lane, not two. Let's move it over a little bit. That's it. Give him a bit more room to work on. That's a bit better. There we go. For the length, we won't be able to get it, the truck and that in line. To unload it. Right, see how far we're with the Moffat on the back. See how far off we are. Got loud for that a little bit at the end. So we got on. Go a little bit more, can't we? That's great. Just bring around a little bit more onto this line here. We've got three foot maybe. Turn her in and bring the, the back end across to the right and that will strain it up a little bit. 